The main reason we've developed this CAS Performance setup is this all new product uh, is designed for engines that produce a lot more power. Now whilst this might be fine for 10 or 15 brake horsepower, when you start going over that number, really you need something which is a lot more robust. Hence the reason why we've developed and produced this Cush Drive system. This is designed for all modern engines that produce a lot more torque and a lot more power than anything that Innocenti, Scooters India or Savetta had ever envisaged. This is to explain the difference between a standard Lambretta Cush Drive system and the Casa Performance version. Now, all of these components, which consist of the sprocket, the cam, the spring and the cap, are all held in place on the standard version by this long 8mm bolt, which basically passes down through the centre of the collar. The Casa Performance version, again, uses an 8mm bolt but it's much shorter. Now internally, the collar has a positive stop. So when the bolt goes down through, as it's screwed down, it holds it in place, but it only holds the collar in place. Now with the standard version, you have all these components pushing up against this long bolt. And that is effectively with a simple eight millimeter thread. The Casa Performance version has this, which is an 18 millimeter thread. How is that possible? Now, the collar for the Casa Performance sleeve is threaded in the end, as you can see in there. So once this is fitted in place with the Allen screw, the components go down over the top and then this massive thread then holds everything in place. as you can see on there. This is a standard Lambretta front sprocket assembly. Now, normally this massive spring would be positioned between these two parts. This is the sprocket, that's the cam, this is the cap and that's the bolt. Now, every time you accelerate or change gear with your Lambretta, it effectively does this and with the added force of the spring, the pressure against this top cap and obviously the head of the bolt is absolutely immense. Now, over time, what can happen with the bolts is this. Original bolts tend to be a lot harder and they can fracture and actually break and the top part of the bolt can actually come away. With the remade ones, with this effect, as this is being hit against it, what happens is the bolt tends to elongate and as it elongates, it then comes loose and then it can effectively unscrew and come up through your side casing. Another problem with the original drive sprocket sleeve is that they are very, very tight to come away off the engines. Now, this one won't even budge. So you need an extractor such as this to be able to take it off. Now, that's fine. And once you use this, it then comes away and there's no problem. This shows the difference between the Casa Performance sleeve, which is without a hole, and the original sleeve, which has the hole for the extractor. Now, the reason the Casa Performance sleeve has no hole in the top is because it doesn't need an extractor for the removal. The Casa Performance dry sprocket assembly is pretty much the same as a normal one. Now, we put on the thrower washer, and then the sleeve goes down over the crank, Onto the high tensile screw, we add a small drop of medium strength Loctite. And then that goes down into the sleeve. Now, normally we would use a crank holding tool to hold the crankshaft in place, but for demonstration purposes, we're gonna tighten up by hand. The Allen screw is now tight. We add the sprocket, the cam, the spring, and the top cap. Now the top cap, we align the teeth with the top of the sleeve. 
which is clearly visible. And then we add the large 18 millimeter nut. We use an impact driver, but you can basically use whichever tool suits you best. Now, using an Allen key, it can pass down through the middle of the large 18 millimeter nut that goes down inside. And then I can undo the screw. And then as I undo it, it then comes up against the nut on the top. As it does, it effectively works as an extractor. And as you can see, as I'm unscrewing this, it then comes away in one piece. So there we have the complete drive sprocket assembly, still intact, and it's come away without the use of an extractor.